Well, Out and About continues week 12 with week 19 of Bitar Foundation, day 37. Better be rushed this morning because it can't nearly damage my computer. But I paid to have to die. Well, that's all for day one of week 12. On the Art Foundation again tomorrow. Just getting with Peter Modern Eyes. There we go. We can say it's good Friday. Well, Out and About continues on Tuesday morning. Bitar Foundation, week 19, day 37. And weather permitting, I know it's been good weather the last few days, but weather permitting, skim versus whippy, it's just right. Well, that's our foundation week 19 done. Obviously, Tuesday night's usually got something on it. Tonight's no different, skim versus whippy. Quarter eight tonight. Nice return to Stormy Corner. So, out and about continue tonight with just the Stormy Corner, a skim versus whippy. So, back here at Stormy Corner tonight, Skem vs Whitby and as far as crowds go. We'll be lucky to win three figures tonight, I have to admit. So, team news tonight, in terms of Skem, Fear and Mooney, Corrigan, McIntosh, Rendell, Strickland, Vizzalo. We've got Hazel Dean back Owen, Brewster Bailey, Holden Tuck and a new lad, Rollins. Yeah, another Skem game where we've got a new name on the team sheet. And for Whitby. So, tonight's programme, which is dated back from the 5th of December. Obviously, the one reason I waited for this programme more than any is because my interview's in it. Obviously, the editor didn't take a very flat on picture, but it is five months old. So, it's nice <laughs> to be in the programme, anyway. So, half time here at Stormy Corner, Skemming I said no, Whippy Tan, no. When you've got two sides, the, well, their away records aren't very good, Whippy's is, I think, the only one worse than ours, so nil nil. Well, full time from Stormy Corner, and if you're a Whippy fan at the start of the game, they said a clean sheet would be an achievement. I thought that was a bit of a joke, to be honest, but full time, skem nil, Whippy nil. Two. Another part of stadium travels is famous for red feet. Not far from going in now. So, it took a while, but we are finally in Langtree Park. Good for Ardy's the worst possible day to travel to here. So, not long, about 10 minutes till kick-off as such, entertainment on the field, band, whose name I can't actually remember, and the St. Angels in the middle over there, glorious weather for it anyway. The St. Helens, Wigan Warriors, 315 kick-off, Super League, round 7. So, we're here at St. Helens, as far as statistics are concerned. A record 17th game against St. Owen for me. Eight wins, eight defeats. So no matter what happens here, there will be a break in the streak. Two games losing streak after last year. 40th away game overall, 11th in 2016 as games. And 883rd game as the season to get older. So out come the team, St. Owen's and Wiggles! Say pretty much well. Not sold out, Langtree Park. There is a few empty seats over there, but pretty much full. North Stand, East Stand, and obviously 4,400 Wigan fans. Here, Langtree Park and Wigan firmly in control. 16 0 signals a bit garbage here, so as far as updates are concerned, as far as atmosphere is concerned, 10 out of 10, entertainment 10 out of 10. Program I haven't got one, but I've had a quick read, so it's about a 7. Facilities only a 7 because the signal's not brilliant, but half time, Wigan 16, St. Helens now. We're halfway through now, we have 16 So, team's out for the second half and the sun's really starting to come out now. This is what you call a good Friday weather and rugby. This is how it should be. Half time, score 16-0, so still game on. Second half to come. So, into the final minute here. It looks like it could be a first filming success at Langtree Park.
Wigan Warriors 24, St. Helens 12. Stadium Travels remains unbeaten, 3 from 3. My first one at Langley Park since, well, 2014, because I lost a lot last year, didn't I? Brilliant, absolutely superb. Superb stadium travels in St. Town yesterday, out and about for this week. And the trip to Edge Road is Wigan 16s, host lead 16s. Well, here we are at Option Stadium in Arrow for Wigan against Leeds in the 16s. We just like the last 16s game, despite turning up 40 minutes before kickoff, there's no team sheets left. Well done, Wigan. Failure to cater yet again. So, 2 o'clock kickoff, and I have to cover it blind. Lovely. So, how come the teams? And because there's no team seats, we're going to be covering this blindly, sadly. As far as statistics are concerned, it's the 184th of the season to get all that, 173rd for Wigan itself. It's actually my first meeting against the Leeds 16s. It's become the 41st team on my list. 8 16s game overall, 29th at Oral, and the 12th game this year. So, half time here at Oral, Wigan 6, Leeds 16. Bit of a mixed first half overall. So both teams out for the second half, 16-6. Well, full time here at the Ad Option Stadium, Wigan 22, Leeds 14. So my perfect record here continues, two 16s games in the 19, all wins, unbeaten for the 16s for me this season. Not a bad weekend, except that the 19s lost at Warrington. So that's out and about done for this week. Starts afresh on Monday with Skem at home.